Good evening, family of God. Have you ever been provided for supernaturally by God? It's the most wonderful thing in the world. All through the Old and New Testaments are stories of God's supernatural provision. Let's take a look at a few. First of all, we can see from Genesis 26, 13 through 14, that Isaac reaped a harvest in famine. It says, Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous, for he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants. So the Philistines envied him. In the book of Psalms, we read this, Day by day, the Lord takes care of the innocent, and they will receive an inheritance that lasts forever. They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine, they will have more than enough. That's from Psalm 37, 18 through 19 from the New Living Translation. Praise God that the hundredfold return is never affected by the times we live in. In the above scripture from Genesis 26, 13 through 14, we see a supernatural yield. Even in the most fertile regions of Israel, the harvest was no greater than 25 to 50 fold. We can see another supernatural provision from the story of the Israelites in the desert. This is from Exodus 16, 11 through 15. You can look this one up yourself. Now let's take a look at Psalm 78, 23 through 29 from the NLT. It says, But he commanded the skies to open. He opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna for them to eat. He gave them bread from heaven. They ate the food of angels. God gave them all they could hold. He released the east wind in the heavens and guided the south wind by his mighty power. He rained down meat as thick as dust, birds as plentiful as the sand on the seashore. He caused the birds to fall within their camp and all around their tents. The people ate their fill. He gave them what they craved. Let's take a look at one more scripture showing God's supernatural provision from the New Testament. It's the story about the Lord's supernatural distribution when he fed the 5,000. In John 6, 5 through 14 from the New Living Translation, we read, Jesus soon saw a huge crowd of people coming to look for him. Turning to Philip, he said, where can we buy bread to feed all these people? He was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Philip replied, even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Tell everyone to sit down, Jesus said. So they all sat down on the grassy slopes. The men alone numbered 5,000. Then Jesus took the loaves gave thanks to God and distributed them to the people. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves. When the people saw him do this miraculous sign, they exclaimed, Surely he is the prophet we have been expecting. Hallelujah! I love how generous our Father is. Just take one moment and read this word from the Lord through our brother Kenneth Copeland on November 19, 2005. You are going to be the ones that God uses to supernaturally feed the lost when disasters come. Only, it's not going to be like it was in the past. 
in many cases, you're not even going to need the trucks and airplanes. In a lot of cases, you're just going to take one little meal and divide it and divide it and divide it. Well, God bless you guys. I pray that you were encouraged. And if you were encouraged and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. Thank you and God bless you.